Hi, and welcome to Andy's Let's Plays. Today we're playing Terra. Hi guys, welcome back to episode number 139 of Andy's Big Sorcerer Let's Play. That is a really weird looking villager. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop a fireplace, and... Huh, that's interesting. These, uh, these gloves have a cuff with a little icon that looks basically exactly like the upper arrow portion that makes them rare instead of common. It's kind of weird. Uh, confused me for a second. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and apply our Keen Charm and our Infused Charm. We still have Greater Infused and Major Keen from before, so we get another Major Keen and let's try for a Greater Infused. Major Infused can't apply. Um, major Infused. Gosh, we are. This thing just does not want to give us a Greater Infused. Come on now, Charms. Uh, so we are in Cythera Fay. I, right now, for whatever reason, there's like this air conditioner thing, and I really hope that it's not causing me background noise. My mic is generally pretty good at producing uh, background noise so that it doesn't uh, doesn't affect the recording. For the love of God. Oh, uh, sure. Negotiate. Um, sure. I'll negotiate that. Yay, we sold something at the broker. That's the first time we've actually negotiated something, I think. If we can just get our infused charm to go, then uh, it will be good. All right, let's uh, let's wait for that to wear off. In the meantime, where is the broker? There's the crystal merchant, arcanist. There's all these little like potato people running around. I guess the broker must be right over here. Uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, so brokered sales, yay! All right, let's collect that. Cool. Um, and I have no idea how to get rid of a greater infused charm when we don't want it. So we're gonna try just three more. Come on now, infused charm! You've got to be kidding me. We've used like fourteen of these. Well, thirteen. And that makes 14. Anything. Greater. Come on. No, not lesser. Greater. Wow, this is this is quite awful. I'll be right back once we get a greater. Oh, actually. Just kidding. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna come over here. We got two more quests in Cithera Fay that we have yet to get, so Words got that one. To be shared. And lace for the cure. <laughs> So it looks like we need to... Oh, congrats on that enchanter. Uh, congrats to that enchanter on that enchantment. Right, gorillas in the mist. And go with your gut. Alright, so we have lots of quests now. I'm going to go ahead and come out here, fire this up, and take on some of these guys. Looks like we're seeing primarily level 58 uh, enemies. At least right in this area. Oh boy. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Uh, so we gotta kill 12 Gut Rippers. We got level 58 Nugatos over there uh, that also need to die. So we'll try taking on some of them. There we go. Nice. And, yeah, we will take on the Mugatos, but not yet, since we want to focus on Sabertooths first. Now, the Sabertooths, um, we can track. They're all up and down this area. I also need to get Spirit Lace, so I want to see where that is. That's up in this circle bit, so. We're going to go up uh, north here, try to find some Spirit Lace while we fight our way through Sabertooth. That should work out. 
Okay. So yeah, I don't, uh, it's kind of interesting getting kicked over to another zone mid, uh, well, not really mid, but just sort of as part of a later on zone. Um, and the reason I say later on is because this is actually a subsection of sorts of, I think it's the area around Dragonfall. Let me check the map. Uh, yeah, Dragonfall and Sylvanoth, so... We were in Lakaida. We did the plane with the damned sort of stuff, and then we get bumped over to Sylvanoth, so it's a little a little bit different, I guess. Um, but hey, that's uh that's cool. It's nice since it's just one zone full of enemies, so it should be reasonably quick to go through here. Um, in addition you know, it's just a bunch of good quests with uh, lots of XP for us, so I can hardly complain about that. Let's try to take on this tree and Sabertooth at the same time. See what happens. The tree might actually present more of an issue than the Sabertooth. I don't know. There we go. Blast that one. And jump back. Kills that guy. Nice. Alright, so we'll gather up this stuff. We have a lot of speed potions. We haven't really been using them much at all, so... Oh, man. We are, like, crossing a whole bunch of different quests by doing this, but... I want to get this spirit lace while we're up here. These are feral popori, and they are really weird. Look at this guy, he's like, he's got like a big jaw, and little tiny ears. They're considerably weirder than normal Popori, which are already pretty weird. Alright, so it looks like we need to kill eight of those at least uh, for their tainted blood. So, while we're up here, we may as well try to take them down. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on. There we go. Why are they running around like that? Alright. Good, good, good. We'll, we'll regen some mana. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and take up a Feral Popori just because we only need eight of them. Uh, so that should be quicker than... Oh wow, that guy's face is really weird. What the heck is wrong with this one? Oh no, it looks pretty normal now. It looked kinda... I don't know, his jaw looked wrong before. Maybe it was just funny looking. I don't know. Wow, lots of people are enchanting things. Alright. That's three... three tainted blood. We got more gilly dews here. We need to look for spirit lace. Ah, I see some. I can see its name through there. All right, let's uh, let's take out this tree, and then we can get to the spirit lace. Let's see how much. All right, we're only dealing on the order of thousands of damage, which I guess is good, but I don't really have a point of comparison to tell. So maybe we should be doing more damage. I really don't know. I suppose, especially in the last level or so here will tend to escalate a lot and once you get a lot of equipment at level 60 your damage probably increases pretty drastically I really like the music in this area too it's uh kind of sounds like something from disney maybe i don't know all right Fel feral popori number four i think is going down Try and drag him back into the hailstorm. At least they seem somewhat clumsy, which is good. Gather up the spirit leaves. And gathering these plants reminds me that uh, we still do not have 300 plant gathering. That's our last one to need uh, to get in order to get an extra grow in our inventory. 
So at some point here, we should try and gather uh, additional plants in order to reach that goal of 300. Let's see. The Gillydew's probably slow enough we can catch up in this. There we go. Good, good, good. Excellent, alright. And they didn't drop it. Cool. Ah, here, this should be our last spear at least, so we can uh, deal with this and then be done. Good. Uh, now we just need additional Gilladews and additional um, Feral Popori. I feel like I guess there really shouldn't be anything particularly ethically wrong with killing a feral Popori. I mean, I've fought a bunch of different types of creatures, so I guess it just seems a little odd since my character is Popori, but I guess human characters fight all sorts of human enemies, so it makes sense, even if it seems a bit odd. Enemies are enemies. Alrighty. There we go. We're halfway done with the Gilladu Seeds. And I believe we're halfway done with the Tainted Blood. Oh, nope, we're, uh, we're five-eighths done. So, this should be pretty quick. We only need three more of these guys. Come on, hit him. There we go. Good. Good, good, good. That's six Tainted Blood. And... Should be able to take this guy down. Excellent. Gilligus are probably some of the easiest enemies that we face these days. They're very slow, even at higher levels from what I've seen. Well, they seem to knock over easily. They... You know, they're just not generally... Like, look at this guy. He, he was enraged. Um, I guess he's not now, but he's just not moving very quickly compared to some of these enemies that uh, suddenly run at you and just cross a huge distance almost instantly. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh, okay. I just got hit. Hit pretty decently. Nice. Ice lance to face. Alright, we'll take out one more of these. And that should be good. Feral Popori. Have at B. Alright. Charge. Oh, we are, we are getting low on mana. Low on mana. There we go. Blast him. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There's Tainted Blood complete. Uh, now we need five more Gilligoo Seeds. So. Looks like we definitely don't get Gilligoo Seeds every time, uh, though they are pretty common. Okay. And our mana is really suffering, so... While we're fighting a Gilligoo, we'll have plenty of time to regen. There we go. Alright. Oh, there's, there's two of them. Let's see if we can take on two at once. There we go. Oh, he's wandering off, alright. Hmm. Yeah, see, look how far away they ran. How strange. Alright, there we go. It's coming back now. Oh, okay, we got, uh, we got Sabertooth aggro. Not cool. We're gonna need to focus on the Sabertooth since that presents a sizable threat, whereas the Gillidoo is kind of slow. Okay. Way too little at, at uh, now, right now. Hmm. 
Hello. There we go. Hailstorm really ought to help us out. That'll be able to put some damage onto the Gilladu. And... Dang it. If that guy hadn't moved, we could have killed him right there. Oh, nope. I thought the Hailstorm would damage the Gilladu, but I guess not. He wandered off. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Stop. Stop straight. There we go. Okay. Well, that, that was exciting. Let's, uh... Let's finish off another Gilly Doo or two, and we should be good to go. There we go, we'll put a dot on this guy. And regen. Regen, that is. There we go. And that got us a seed. Good. Now we need one more seed. Alright, we'll get that guy over there. Saber Tooth. How you doing? Bam. Bam, bam, bam. Fireballs. And this, uh, I really like the color scheme of this place. It's all pastels and bright and cheery. It's kind of nice. It's, it's somewhat different from basically all the other areas we've seen. You know, there have been a few areas where it's just sort of snowy or deserty they're all they're all slightly different but it kind of had the same feel to it this place is um, I'd say the closest one to compare it to would probably be like uh, cutthroat harbor or something like that which is very different uh, you know coastal and, and all that jazz but um, it's the only other one that's been I think quite this bright uh, which is kind of cool I guess um, the area right outside Crescentia had similar trees, and that was pretty bright, so, you know, there's, there's that area too. Alright, gotta get our fast cast back. There we go. And now we can take down a gut for Saber Tooth. Um, our charms are still up, so I don't know why we're quite as low on mana as we are. There we go. Blast him. Okay. Good, good, good. That regen should help to keep our mana up a bit more. Oh boy, there's two. Two of them here. Let's try taking on two of them. That should finish off our quest as well if we manage to kill two. With one hailstone. Ha! Ah, two birds. And by birds, I mean saber teeth. With one hit stuff. There's one. And there's two. Nice. So it took us a little more firepower than it normally takes for one, but we got both of them. So that's excellent. Alright, now we need Bloodhorn Lugatos. Let's see. They are back down this way. Wow, I'm, I'm honestly kind of surprised that didn't dismount us. Typically, uh, jumps like that would cause us some problems, but... Hey. Okay, oh, alright. There we go. Oh, this ought to be interesting. This guy and all of his little pigs are now after us. These pigs are out for blood. Oh, excellent. The the bear deer has low health. This I guess it's sort of like a bear monkey deer. But it has low enough health that uh, it's pretty easy for us to take on. Alright, that got us one hide. Uh, so we're gonna need some more. We need some more hides. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I see. He's got he's got bears, and then he's got pigs. Okay, cool. I don't know if that helps us in any way, but that time we got three of them. Awesome. All right. Let's go in here. We're gonna drop a campfire since we have like a billion of them, and fuse charm and keen charm. What do we get? Yeah, minor infused. Nope. You need a better infused charm than that. 
and Major Keen, that's that's good. There we go, Major Infused. Excellent. Alright, and... There we go. That was kind of interesting. It looked like we, uh... Looks like we aggroed the Mugato separately from all of his little minions. Um, I wonder if they're not actually, like, tied together. That'd be kind of neat. Just because we could pull the big guy without the little ones aggroing. Alright. There we go. Oh boy. Come on, mana. Okay, well, we didn't get enough mana for a Void Pulse like I'd hoped, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my regen just to kick that up a notch. We're up to seven hides already, so it's going pretty quick. There we go. Oh, okay. Mouse went a little wonky. There we go. Eight, eight misted hides. And speed cast in two, one. There we go. Alright. I will say that these little minion things are pretty darn fast. They manage to uh, run through the hailstorm pretty quickly. Uh, only one more Mugato hide, shucks. I was hoping for a little more than one per group. Alright, tab our shield back on. Blast that guy. Drop the Hailstorm. And... Okay. I don't know if that hit the Mugato or his minion. There we go. Oh wow, that time... That time I guess we got four of them, because... Oh no, we got three, sorry. And we don't want to go down there yet. We gotta head back, find more Mugatos up this way. Ah, like, right here. Perfect. Hmm, that's interesting. Looks like they have some spell casting capability, even if it's just like a breath based attack or something. It's kind of neat. I like when enemies are a little bit varied like that. You know, you never quite know what you're going to come across until, until you've played through it. Alright. Especially since, uh, as I saw with some other enemies, I forget what they were, but they can definitely present like different tendencies to attack in different ways, that kind of thing, uh, from enemy to enemy. Even if they are the same, um, they'll use a variety of attacks and they don't always use them or use them in the same order, so it's kind of neat. It makes them both predictable and a little bit unpredictable. Oh, that's just deep enough that we got a swim. Alright, so we'll turn in these quests. We've got like four or five quests here that, uh, should be good to turn in. First we'll go over here, turn in this uh, this one. What is this? This is for Ultaron. Future so of Light. Alright, there we go. Uh, where are they now? That oh, hey, we gotta talk to gotta talk to Tansaril. Hello, Potato King. Um Find out what Nyla knows. Alright, we'll go talk to Nyla. I think that's the camp that's south of here. Uh, at the Grand Gate. But I'm not certain. Alright. Rock a run. There we go. Race for the cure. Oh, I get it. It's kind of like race for the cure, but different. Alright, and then we'll come out here. This should be a couple more gorillas in the mist. And go with your gun. There we go. Alright, so now we'll go find Nyla, who is, yep, yep, south of here at the Grand Gate. So that's where we're headed. That is the Grand Gate. That's where we were. We went a little bit too far south to keep finding Mugatos, so. Yep, this should be pretty cool. 
and we'll find this camp and uh oh we gotta avoid these pigs we don't want to draw aggro from them they spread out all over the place though all right we can uh we can duck around this pillar i think right yeah there we go good that's not an invisible wall and elma leaving the garden you did anything for me. and Where's the person that we have to talk to? Ah, there we go. Nyla. Good. Magic is art. Magic is art. Alright. Always, Always leave some mana in reserve. That's some good advice. Solid advice from Nyla. Alright, any more quests in this area? Um, no. Alright, so we need a uh, blue coagulated mass from Tawangi Frog Keepers. We need bands of the dutiful from these centaurs. Hello, goat thing. I'm not afraid of you. Alright, so it looks like these centaurs and their dwarves are where we'll get uh, some sort of band of the dutiful that we need. So, we'll take them on. Ah, these are level 59, so we'll need to be a little more careful than we have been in the past. This will be a somewhat more difficult set of quests, I think. Uh, fortunately, group geyser seem to be scaled to be a little more easy uh, to fight. Especially for us, since we can wipe out... Oh, perfect! We cleared a path for that to hit the centaur. Excellent. I was worried that... Uh, I was worried that our void pulse was going to be wasted on a dwarf, but... Uh, nope. Nope, it worked out okay. Alright, good, good, good. So that got us four. We're, I mean, we're up to four. And we can take out some more here. Hello, let's drop a hailstorm on them. Blast away the rest of these guys and blink back over here. Try and draw the centaur back. Shield up again. There we go. Perfect. Alright. So we're up to seven... Seven centaur guys. And then we got the Tawangis down here. So we'll need to take out some of them too. There we go. Blink into that. Uh, not enough mana. God, these frog riders are both so strange and so cool. I'm kind of jealous of their giant frogs. Oh. Whoa, if we... If we kill the boss, then these little guys stop fighting us. That's kind of cool. I had no idea that was the case. Normally we kill them all before... Before they, uh... Stop. Let's fire blast this guy. Oh, that's... That's weird. It hit the bridge instead. There we go. Can we run under here? Huh. We can... Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's... That's weird. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Okay. Well. Let's, um... Hmm. We'll take on these guys. Hailstorm! Ha ha ha! Damn. Let's... It's a little sad fighting them without their Tawangi boss guy. Just because they seem so so silly and innocent and peaceful. It's like, oh, I feel a little bad for, for coming in and wrecking them. I'm sorry, little Tawangi guys. I'm, I'm moderately sorry. Hmm, there we go. Alrighty. Well... We're getting towards time here, so I'm going to go ahead and head back to town. But thank you guys very much for watching, and next time we'll take on some more centaurs, some more Kalungis, and, you know, finish up the quests in this area, I think. So thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye!